Hi everyone, Sodom and Gomorrah, two towns formerly located not too far from the Dead Sea. Now according to legend, they were both destroyed. And it's important that you know what really happened. First, it's a real thing, it really happened. But the Bible story of Sodom and Gomorrah is only half of it. You need to know the full story of what actually happened without the religious overtones. So just angry looking subject. I feel like he's not looking angry enough. Something like that. <laughs> so angry looking subject faced inside this. This subject to me feels non-human. They do feel um, almost like, the way I can tell that this is not a human is that when I probe it, it doesn't have these excess emotions. It feels like it's almost like operating at a, brain level here where everyone else at this target operates down here. You can't even relate, you know what I mean? And so that's how I feel when I probe this, like almost like this unrelatable being is inside of this foreign um, structure and destroying everybody besides one specific subject that just so happens to be taken with them. Now the first target for this study is the event involving Sodom and Gomorrah, as described in Genesis chapter 19, verse 24. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Now the second target for this event is to perceive the subjects described as angels in Genesis chapter 19, verses 1 through 10, as they are meeting with the subject known as Lot. Well, we obtained a ton of information about those two targets, information that you are now going to see, all recorded live on video while the remote viewers were still blind to the targets. And a ramp comes out, just like that. And another subject actually shows itself. And this other subject, uh, well, let's see if I can use a different color just to show that they're different. So this other subject, sort of comes out with much more flamboyant attire. Uh, these guys sort of have these brownish robes and this guy comes out and he's got a little bit longer hair and he's got, uh, his, his robes are brighter and more colorful. And so they just sort of, uh, he, he gets out of the non-service structure, they face each other and his arms are outstretched and he's got a very, uh, showy appearance. Let's consider giving the ETs the benefit of the doubt and say that there were some morality issues going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Although to be clear, the ETs themselves have some very serious morality issues going on. Clearly the male crowd that threatened Lot and the ETs, who he thought of as angels, were not nice. But remember that Lot chose to live in that town. Moreover, both of his daughters were engaged to be married by men in that town, and both daughters, according to Lot, were still virgins. So the daughters were not violated by the townspeople. Now, the Bible clearly states that all of the people in the towns were rotten to the core. But does that sound reasonable to you? Pink, pressed together lips, very, very skinny. He's got this smirk, like this disgusting smirk on his face, does not have a nice personality. He does not have a nice personality. I don't want to be around him. Mm, he doesn't like when things don't go his way. He's, oh, I don't like this person. I can, I feel them. I feel, I, what about the women and children who lived in Sodom and Gomorrah? Is it reasonable to assume that absolutely every living person living in those two towns was rotten to the core? Now the Bible says that there were no good people in those two towns, but that was said by the guy who made Abraham think that he was God. So like, how reliable is that? So I'm seeing this, this large triangular non-surface structure right up here. And uh, it, it's, it's shooting down this uh, energetics, just this, this violent energetics uh, is shooting down from 
above here. And it's, it's like just hot, fiery energetics and it hits the ground and then just huge explosions happen. So it's like bombing or something like that. But also clearly, the ETs of those days wanted to send a message, a message that would let everyone know that they are in charge of things and the failure to follow their guidance would bring total destruction. It's like the Star Wars movie when the Death Star was used to destroy the planet of Alderaan. The Empire needed an example to sow terror into the galaxy. They were not interested in just capturing some rebels. They wanted total subservience from all populations in the galaxy, and the destruction of an entire planet and its people was the perfect ticket, at least as far as the Empire was concerned. Similarly, the total destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah was the Bible's version of Alderaan. Be good and follow the rules, or suffer the fate of Sodom and Gomorrah. I continue to visualize a non-surface structure beaming energetics towards a base surface structure or another non-surface structure. And that causing death and destruction and falling and breaking or just a whole bunch of chaos. But destroying Sodom and Gomorrah was to serve a bigger purpose, planetary control widespread fear and intimidation, unconditional surrender. That was the only real purpose behind destroying the towns of Sodom and Gomorrah. They were examples of what happened to people who strayed from the rules, the ET rules that all Earth humans were expected to follow or else. The structures which once were um, standing are now just, oof, it's, uh, uh, just objects all over, and, and this place looked somewhat nice before, and now it's just wrecked. Just structures and just a lot, a lot of wreckage, um, and um, energetics and objects. It's very, very grim and apocalyptic. It's. Um, quite a sad sight, because you can kind of see the bodies are sprawled everywhere, too. So, a lot of casualties. To understand Sodom and Gomorrah, don't try to understand the reason why the people who lived there were bad. Those were just bad ETs who said that they were bad. They just look crazy. They have the creepiest smiles. They just look absolutely ridiculous. These are crazy looking subjects. These subjects look absolutely ridiculous and they are, they're just wild looking. Now remember, the ETs can mentally manipulate people, popes, presidents, and townspeople of Sodom and Gomorrah. They even have technology to help with this. So you don't really know what the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were like. They were very likely not in control of themselves. Friends, when was the last time that you heard of any group of people of a town suddenly gathering around a house that had some visitors and demanding that the visitors be handed over so that they can be raped? Does that sound like any kind of normal human behavior that you have ever heard of? So you don't know what was going on in the heads of the men of Sodom and Gomorrah, or who was manipulating their thoughts. Like I said, the ETs know that I am here and they are trying to stop my data flow. Trying to, trying to stop my data flow, they're trying. I keep repeating things. Stop it. Now you should begin to understand why it is so important today to understand the true history of Sodom and Gomorrah. The ETs who destroyed those towns in the ancient past are still with us today. The only major difference is that they manipulate things today behind the scenes in secret. Obey to the letter or be destroyed. It was such a powerful story that it is taught even today in countless places of worship. 
Obey the rules of the Almighty, and you will be saved. Disobey, and you will burn in the fires of hell for all eternity. Pretty powerful story. It spread, and it stuck. Thank you.